then my friend says, let's go to school and learn what we need to learn. And I said, okay, let's go to school. And I have learned so much being here. After coming here, I think I've taken every class they have here. I love their classes. They teach you how to do every form of medicating there is to do. I wear the Oaksterdam shirts everywhere in town where I live, and people say, I thought the school was closed. No, the school's not closed. Go to the school. The school is the best thing that ever happened to me. Oaksterdam University is a model for uh, other institutions. Uh, and other institutions draw from this, uh, this model, but there will always only be the original template of something, and I think Oaksterdam University will always be uh, that gold standard. The one thing that sets Oaksterdam apart from a lot of the other ones, and the reason you want to come to this one, is the industry leaders, this is where they're at. You're going to get the Robert Raches, one of the guys that helped write Prop 215. You're going to get Debbie Goldsberry, people that started some of the first dispensaries here in California. They're on the facility here, the faculty here at Oaksha Dam. This is why you want to come to this school. My name is Robert Rach, and I'm teaching here uh, because I've been involved in this medical cannabis industry since before the beginning. I took both of the medical cannabis cases to the U.S. Supreme Court. I served on Attorney General Bill Lockyer's medical marijuana task force that actually drafted the language that uh, became SB 420 as we know it today. I think more people should learn about cannabis and I encourage everybody to teach about it. Uh, but I don't think anybody has uh, the depth of knowledge, the, uh, uh, the quality of the faculty or the experience that Oaksterdam University does. I could talk about a lot about it. I'm a big fan of Debbie Goldsberry. You know, she's been fighting this fight for a long time. She started one of the more successful dispensaries in this area, uh, Berkeley's Patients Group, and she's trying to start another one now. She's just a wonderful personality. She does it for all the right reasons. You know, like me, she'd, she'd teach here just to teach, you know, just to make sure that we spread the word and other people can get it out there. She's a wonderful, wonderful person. Well, what makes Oaksterdam unique is the fact that we're here in Oakland, California. Oaksterdam um, revitalized our city of Oakland. You know, we're sitting here in downtown Oakland and we're in a restaurant that didn't exist 10 years ago before medical cannabis came into the neighborhood and Richard Lee, um, who founded Oaksterdam, and the, the people in the industry created this neighborhood. There was no restaurant across the street. There was no theater right there. Um, in Oakland, the cannabis people came to a neighborhood that was downtrodden, where there were no jobs, where the streets weren't safe and built industry, and that industry attracted other industry, and it's literally turned our city around. I think it's also fun to come to Oakland, which is, a you know, Oaksterdam, this neighborhood, is, is really an epicenter of uh, for the medical cannabis and just the cannabis uh, movement in general, and you really get a feel for that when you're here, because there are a lot of different people that have been doing this for a long time. It's an exciting place. And so since I've been coming to school here, people have been coming out of the woodworks to talk to me. And it's interesting, one person needs some hand salve with nowhere else to get it, and okay, here, let me make you some. <laughs> it's like you really learn um, a lot of valuable information, you know, like if you're planning on going into business or if you're just, you just want to educate yourself about what is this herb about? What, what is this, 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 why is it getting, why are all these laws passing in all these states? I mean, where, there's that many people that actually believe in it, maybe it will help them to learn about it themselves and maybe they'll be able to help somebody in their family down the, you know, with, uh, that has a major medical condition through learning something in this, in this class. Or like I said, like me, I took the class and I actually created a, a line of products and a business, you know, very quickly after that. My name is Dale Sky Jones and this is Jackson and I'm the Executive Chancellor for Oaksterdam University. Uh, in general, I work on curriculum. I try to focus on the direction of the school, uh, set the pace for the staff, and basically just make sure that we're focused on who we are and why we're here. That's really part of the goals of Oaksterdam University. is isn't just to teach people how to run businesses, but really to create social change. And there's no place I know of better to get a background in that as an educational institution than Oaksterdam University. So for the first time this year since I was 18 and went and registered to vote, I said if everybody that needed cannabis voted, it probably wouldn't be a problem. This school has even showed me that one person can make a difference.